And I was told she was being given a lift. Don't you worry, Hansel. I know you've only got one leg, so I'm worse on the carrying. Hansel, you can do it. 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 Hansel, Never get a lift from the scarecrow. Never get a lift from the scarecrow. You're right there. You know. Okay, okay. Cup of tea, this guy's a good guy, Gabby. Yeah. Okay, now I've been threatening, didn't it? Threatening. Now you know, I used to love to watch you on Wurzel Gummidge as a baby. What I loved about it was a gentler age, wasn't it? None of this violence that we get on TV now. Great the 70s, weren't they? <laughs> As I say, a gentler time, wasn't it, Chief? Now, say hello to Jordan, Yuna. Yeah. Hello, Jordan. Oh, hi, Yuna. Know. You're a fan of the Rizzle Kicks, I imagine, Yuna? Yeah. yeah. I'm sure you know their hit, uh, Get Down With The Trumpets. <laughs> Yeah, he's clearly fine, that. <laughs> <laughs> now, Janet Street Porter, a newspaper editor, TV controller, mm. loose woman. You yeah. stand astride all media as a colossus. Almost a national treasure, but not quite. <laughs> and you made your start on London Weekend Television. Yes, you're not going to show one of those awful clips where I'm wearing a dodgy sweater, are you? Would, as if I would. I told you would. It was crazy there, Jenna, because of course, when you look at the outfits now, they appear perfectly normal. In August last year, the government set up a commission on the London outfit to look at the future of such events. And now that must be fancy dress. Surely I didn't willingly put that on. Well, you tell me you were wearing it. <laughs> Then I had the hairstyles, that's some really bad hair. I had the Farrah Fawcett hair, I had the Farrah Fawcett hair, I had the punk hair, I had the yellow star dyed on the top of my head hair, I had the extensions. We don't have time to go through all the hair no. <laughs> But Janet, the London Weekend show was an innovative show in its own way, wasn't it? It took on the subject of body image, and luckily you had an expert on hand to cut right to the heart of the matter. Presumably the readers of your magazine are obsessed with being a attractive to the opposite sex. I'm not obsessed. I think they're very worried about it, and often with good reason, because it is quite important, after all. Um, I think people are very worried about being too fat and too thin. I think they're not worried enough about being too fat sometimes, and sometimes also they're too worried about being too thin. Mm. Thanks for cheering that up. <laughs> now, you've had a lot of impersonators over the years, haven't Certainly you? Certainly have, yeah. Everyone has their own unique take on doing you, as these clips show. Well, hello. I'm... <laughs> I'm so sorry, Janet. What a cheap, nasty thing to do. It is just so easy to do a Janet Street Porter impression. All you need is a pair of glasses, uh, a wig, and a polystyrene cup. So you put the, the glasses on. You put the wig on, and uh, you get the polystyrene cup, and you just clear it up like that. And uh, before you know it, hello, I'm Janet and welcome to the Kitchen Podcast. We've got a, a Janet Street Porter impression competition. Oh, you go first. Six o'clock, Stan. 
not bad, you know. I'm Janet Street Porter. You know, I'm going to get a little cut. You're not that big. Oh, no, but no. Your turn. Oh, well, uh, hello. I'm Danny Street Porter. And welcome to the six o'clock show. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> well, hello, hello. Danny Street Porter. My hair's much better than that. I'm going to mark you. Oh, do. Okay. Luna, for a professional actress, no. <laughs> Jordan. Not bad. Thank you. Three. Big kind, big kind. Oh, ten. Five, not. Oh, thank you. <laughs> 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 what have you got? What have you got here? You can also do Alan